Uh, since I'm the last, I think the whole minutes remaining I can use. <laughs> so uh, I will be presenting. Okay. I will give a short update as recommended by Joseph. It will be quick. Uh, so uh, here, try to give you some update on the strategy to control color that we are implementing, uh, starting from setting the multi-sectorial group for color uh, for controlling color in Mozambique. So this has all the relevant ministries, uh, but it's main leaded by the the public works uh, and um, infrastructures ministry and uh, minister of health. Uh, in our country, public works and infrastructure is the ministry that is responsible for uh, water and sanitation. So uh, we are uh, leading the, the, this group together. So we, ha we have implemented seven reactive uh, uh, campaigns uh, to respond to cholera outbreak, as I will show you the figures on the... Oh, there's one slide missing here. There's one slide on... This one slide missing with the figures. Anyway, so cases reduced from May to now. It's almost uh, near to 10 cases. Or so that's what the slide would say. So uh, 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 reactive campaign in uh, five provinces, but several districts within these uh, this provinces. It was a challenge. Uh, challenging implementation because distance reality from difference uh, from different of districts of these provinces uh, 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 are very uh, very challenging. So yesterday I was showing uh, I was sharing with some of you here a video of Niasa in a place that I didn't know it exists. But uh, I mean, if you want to see, I will sh I will show it to you. Uh, during the break. So other good thing that we implemented is the public health laboratories in six provinces. This is a major achievement. So they all have uh, microbiology capacity to perform culture. So we want to, uh, we will not be prepared for everything, but we can be ready for anything. So that's what we are trying to, to have this lab. So we have now six, we, we, we want to have three or four more in other provinces that we don't have. So this allows us to really have a early response, uh, early dictation and rapid response because there is no delay b between uh, 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 testing and confirmation and there's no discussion if we are using RDTs or not using RDTs, there is no bureaucracy anymore. So once uh, we have flags in, the, in, the, in a province, we deploy a team that is located in one of these labs, so they can uh, rapid assess the place. So our uh, NCP, as uh, we we were we were uh, uh, we were talking these days, are in a good phase. So it has a buy-in of the highest authorities. Uh, this is also one of the major achievements that we that we had, and we are we were invited to present that in one of the main meetings in the country. So you have, uh, before the assembly, you have this council of ministers that uh, makes a decree to any document that, that you want to survive for longer than a term of a president. So we were invited to present our NCP uh, on this uh, uh, meeting. So here you see pictures. This was uh, the first multi-sectorial meeting uh, with partners, uh, institutions, and then you, this is a provincial technical working group. And here, I think Tom and Emmett will recognize someone in this picture. Uh, so we'll focus to UNICEF and the public work colleagues that were working on, on the WASH in a workshop that we, this was an NCP workshop and this is a WASH group uh, 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 that were working on the activities. And down here, this picture will show again in another slide to explain what's that. So, and here you have the, down here, you have the, the, the institutions that are, are uh, part of uh, 
the multi-sectorial group. And with that, I would like to suggest the, on that slide of GTFCC that appears all the, the partners, so you can put like Mizao also, just. Uh, and here, uh, uh, I, we have a lot of achievements, but I uh, will just focus on this three. So uh, this high level engagement uh, of the key decision maker are very important. So uh, from the engagement, we, we have engagement from all the, the sectors and we have, we have open doors uh, 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 to all the ministries. So I was also telling someone that, you know, this, I've never met any president in Mozambique, but this year alone, I think I went three times to, to his office. So it, it might mean something. So, uh, uh, and this was able because we had this organized group. We are small, but I think we are uh, organized. Uh, and we had uh, ideas of different sectors of what we want in terms of color controlling. So whenever we were uh, uh, called to do any presentation or to explain what we see as a vision, uh, uh, they would receive us. So uh, this meeting that I mentioned, endorsement in, in this meeting, it means that uh, uh, this is an initial document. It can be changed in the future, but it means that the government knows what is the plan and whatever addition on that document will uh, be alive for longer than just have a, a, a NCP and then take there and then they say, okay, this is good, but there's no a decree that demands that that document should be followed. Hotspot mapping finalized. This is also a great achievement. And here is the picture I was saying. So this here is the Vice Minister of Health and here is the Vice Minister of uh, Public Work and Infrastructure. And this was a, a, a technical meeting for NCP. So we were preparing, the, revising all the documents uh, uh, produced by all the, the, the groups. So these two will be the ones that will take this document to the president presentation for, for that decree. So this is a major achievement. So I have two vice ministers working with the technical group on a technical document, so it's a big achievement. Uh, challenges uh, in terms of challenge engagement of political and administrative actors at the provincial and dis in district uh, uh, district level. So this is happening up here. We have high commitment, but we have some challenges in the districts because they are facing so many other things. Uh, what they have to prioritize, it's a different. Uh, they have different priorities and they have very short budget to implement uh, uh, different activities. So the budget uh, uh, starts to, to, to decrease from the central to provincial, provincial to the district and the district to, to post administrative. So it's hard for them to engage. It's not that they don't want, but uh, 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 it's hard. So as I say here, uh, an obstacle is competing priorities and funds, so there's no funds. So when we say, for instance, uh, uh, training or using Zoom or other technology, it works until the district, it works well, but then when, when it gets to, to, to uh, post administrative, administrative post, it's difficult. So you have to find a good tree that will give you nice sign and you can make a training. So imagine a training of two hours in a tree. So it's a little bit difficult, so you have to have enough funds to go there and train those people. Once that happens, you have a very good output from them. So uh, uh, funds, it's, a, it's, a, it's something that definitely. So uh, uh, color su surveillance in routine as low sensitivity, especially for that. So we don't capture that in the community. So we are now trying to triangulate data from different sources to get, uh, I heard what Philippe was saying yesterday and I felt like he was talking to me and I wanted to tell him, it's not my fault, it's just the system doesn't, it's not sensitive enough, you know. 
it, it doesn't capture that in the community. It's, uh, it's terrible. And we have different sources to capture that. But then there is discussions that, uh, you know, there are, uh, someone mentioned here, I think, is the, 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 the uh, case management working group that dying uh, from cholera. It's a shame. So it's a shame everywhere, even in the community. So they, they would say it's a food poisoning, it's something else. But what we are doing now, we are trying to uh, implement in the community a verbal autopsy to get uh, 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 the burden of these deaths in the community and try to, to, to put in our system. Our system already is capturing cases that in the past wouldn't uh, 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 capture, those mild, uh, 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 moderate cases. We were not captured in the past, only those that would be uh, in the hospital but now we are capturing them. So a uh, big challenge is uh, dedicated human resources. We are the same people doing almost everything from COVID to everything, Ebola, Marburg, anything that comes, we are the same and we have to, 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 to divide our time for this. Uh, likely we have some few crazy people that love cholera and they dedicate some some, they love to resolve problems of color, not that they love to have cholera, please. Yeah. So this is our plan. It's not for 12 months. Our plan is much bigger, but here are the key things that will happen this, uh, this year. Here we'll point for the update of hotspot or PAMIS. It will happen soon, uh, discussing with Barbara Vildi. Uh, to organize this workshop. It requires some funds. Philippe, I'm looking at you so that when this comes to you, you, you say yes. And uh, uh, we will submit soon the preemptive request to Gavi. So there's many things happen coming soon. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. I didn't use 10 minutes. So I have one minute to, to mention something very important for me. So. Uh, uh, we, of course, we have partners here, and I want to, to, to recognize all the partners that were responding to color in Mozambique this, this year. All of them, I will not mention uh, names, but you all know that it was amazing, the coordination. We had problems in coordinating with partners, and you know that. So each partner had their own priority, but this year it was amazing. We could find a common ground to work together, and it, it really worked. It's a pity that we don't have uh, the, the, the epicarp here to, to show the, the work that we did together. And uh, I think the first round of applause is for you, if I can ask. A round of applause for you, partners. <laughs> and the next one, it's for, for the team in Mozambique. Uh, although they were very tired, they, they never ceased to, to, to chase this thing until the state we are here. So uh, I don't know if they're online. So I was online to check if they were there. But if they're there, so one round of applause for them also. <laughs> finalizing. So uh, it's, it's, it's really, 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 really finalizing. So throughout these years, throughout these years, it's not easy to, 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 to have partners working in cholera, in research, in all domains of of colors and all the other years have been mentioned uh, IVI, but I want to mention a person, not the institution. So Seun Park, that it's here, has been my partner for so, so long, and uh, she she's really brave to 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 support the the crazy team from Mozambique. So thank you.